Hey guys, what's up? This episode kicks off a whole bunch of videos about upgrades. Yes, I will be doing a major upgrade for my GT Karakoram 2014 mountain bike. I've had this bike for 8 years already and it's virtually all stock. Save for the pedals, saddle, the grips, and the handlebar. I haven't made any major upgrades for this bike. The drivetrain and even the chain. Now may be the perfect time to upgrade or give it a second life. So first stop on the list is once again the pedals and what I chose would be the Crank Brothers Stamp. Quick backstory, around 2 years ago, I replaced my stock pedals, a GT Slimline Flat, for some knockoff the bomb pedals. I liked the brand, and initially wanted to buy the original ones, but budget didn't permit it. My stock ones are actually still okay, save for some wear and tear in appearance, usual in alloy pedals. They are now in my brother's mountain bike. The bad thing about the knockoff ones, it had squeaking issues. When water started going into the bearings, I did some band-aid solution, put some grease inside, and I still use it until now. So why I chose Crank Brothers? Well, it's one of the most popular and sought-after brands in the market, and it has always been a dream of mine to have one of these in my bike. Initially, I wanted to have alloy pedals again, which is the Stamp 2, but it was hard to find a large Stamp 2 and thought why not try the Stamp 1. It's slightly more affordable and stocks in the market are sufficient enough. I opted to really have the large size since I wanted to have optimal surface area. Bought it online and surprised by the quality. Usually, composite pedals have a stigma of being not durable enough because it is plastic. But when I inspected the pedals, you will even mistake it for an alloy. Material looks super durable. Quick look at the back of the box shows the sizing guide. The small pedals is for shoe size 5 to 10 for US, 37 to 43 for Euro. And the large pedals is for shoe size 10 to 14 US or 43 to 48 Euro. I usually wear shoe size 11. Below is the pedal diagram with the different parts. Stamp 1 has a composite body but has a chromoly steel spindle, Enduric cartridge for the outer bearing, and Igus LL glide for the inner bearings. Inside the box is the user's manual, always read those. and a sticker. And the sealed plastic is the other pedal. You can check if it's the left or right pedal, finding an L or an R on the wrench flats. The Stamp 1 large has a 111mm by 114mm footprint according to specs. I measured it and I got 112.3 for the width. And then, for the height, I got 111 millimeters. So just slight difference there. According to specs, it has a 13 millimeter thickness. My measurement, 
is around 13.1 mm. I also measured the spindle part and got 19.1 mm. Weight is stated at 329 grams for the pair. My measurement is 177.3 for one piece. So that is around 354.6 grams. Please note of course, measurement instruments might have slight differences. I have yet to install this as I am slowly buying the upgrades and putting it up on one go. Some advantages of the Crack Brothers stamp pedals are the 9 metal pins on each side for better grip. Pre-installed are the 10mm hex traction pins can also be replaced with 12mm ones. All stamp pedals are also highly serviceable. They can be refreshed with new parts like bearings and o-rings. All you have to do is buy the pedal refresh kit. Some cool things about composite pedals that I have researched is that besides it's more lighter, you have plenty of options for colorways. And it is not painted over, so when scratched and you get wearing marks, it will stay the same color or at least the same hue. For material reference, Stamp 1 is a composite petal. Stamp 2, A380 aluminum. For Stamp 3, AM60D magnesium alloy. Stamp 7 and 11 are 6061T6 aluminum. 11 has the titanium spindle. The Crack Brothers Stamp 7 has also the special editions like the Danny McCaskill, Seagrave, and the special color oil slick for those oil slick fans. So that's it for this episode. If you like this content and want to help with the improvement of this channel, please consider subscribing. Once again, stay safe and stay strong.